In this presentation, I will talk about SQL aggregation. What is aggregation? It is when we want to have an average of some numbers. That means we can retrieve some data from our database and then we can uh, get the average of, for example, some, uh, some rows with uh, some numbers. We can uh, make summation. That means we can, we can add those um, those numbers together. We can uh, get the minimum and the maximum. And we can also uh, count some uh, some instances of, uh, of, for example, how many voted for PHP in a, in a poll or how many voted for C sharp. And um, in this presentation, I will just go through those five types of aggregation. And there are many more when you uh, dig into your favorite uh, SQL language. MySQL has some others and uh, and Microsoft Transaction SQL has some as well. So why do we aggregate in SQL? We can illustrate the typical architecture of, uh, for example, web applications like this. We have the presentation layer, we have the application layer, and we have the data layer, also named as the three-tier application uh, structure. And when we have all our data in our database, uh, we can just pull out everything we like. So we could pull out a large number of data set, and then we could work on it in our application layer. That means where you have your PHP or C Sharp or whatever preferred server-side language. And then you could manipulate the data and then send it to the presentation layer. But it would be more adequate to send exactly what is needed, what the necessary data is. So we will only send, typically, we will only send what we need at the application layer and send that to the presentation layer. Because the database server is best at handling data, of course. It has some more advanced or optimized processes for processing data. So in this example, I will use uh, a small table with uh, a drink ID and a drink description and a price. And I have four drinks on my menu card. I have juice, beer, soda, and wine, and they have different prices. So if I want to make aggregation like taking the average of the price, I may count them. If I was doing this manually, I would count and say, or oh, summarize, and I would say, okay, this gives 60 in prices, and I have four drinks so that gives an average of 15. So how do we do it then? We use the AVG function in SQL. In this case we select the average price by using the AVG on the price column and then we want to output it as the column name average price which does not exist in our drink table but we can use the as uh, command or keyword to create uh, a column name for this uh, calculated average of the price. So in this case, we will get only one column and we will get only one row. In this row, there will be a number, which is 15, because that is the average of our prices. We can do the same uh, with summation. So we can add those numbers together. And in this case, it gives 60. And uh, we can use, again, a function. And this function is sum. And we uh, use the sum function on the price, and which, in this case, we uh, output it as the sum price. And it is, of course, 60. When we want to find the minimum price, and in this case, it will be soda, we use the min function. And we use it as before, the min of the price. and we I'll put it as a column name called uh, the lowest price. So we can, as the last one, or before we go to the counting, we can um, have the maximum. In this case, we have two drinks uh, that have the same price. And it doesn't matter because if we just take the max price, we will get the maximum price, no matter how many they are, and we will just get 20 as the highest price. So you might be tempted to uh, 
to try to output the um, the column names for the highest price. So you might expect that you will get two rows with the beer and the wine, which says 20 of each. So if we look at it this way, we want to select the max price as the highest price and then the drink from drink, then we will surprisingly get the highest price is the juice. So why is that? That's because the aggregating function max and min and average will treat this uh, this result as, okay, you need to have a, a new column name. Uh, you need to have a new column and that is drink. And um, okay, I'll just uh, bring in the first one in the in the table because I don't know which one is uh, is going to be the maximum or the average or uh, or the minimum because I'm only counting I'm only making the calculation so if you need for example to output which drinks in this case have these highest prices if they are more than one or just if you want uh, the one with the highest price you need to make a subquery so just this is a very short introduction to subqueries and then um, in this case, I want to list the highest prices with subquery. So first I want to find the highest price and we did that before. And then I want to find those strings that had this price. That means the highest price. So in order to get the highest price, that means only get the number 20. I will, as before, select max price from drink. In this case, I don't use an alias because I don't need to output this max price from this we call the inner query. So I'll put this in parentheses and then outside I will put a new select statement that selects drink, that means which drink is it, and the price, and the price would of course be 20 because we expect to get uh, two rows and they will have the same price. We will select it from drink and then we will set in a where clause that says, okay, I want the price to be exactly the maximum price. And in this case, we will get a beer and wine and they have this price uh, 20. So just in order to, to sum up what to do when you make subqueries, in this case, we have this subquery or, or this nested query. Um, we find the highest price through our inner select, that means select max price from drink. And then we find those drinks with that price in the outer select. So we use an inner select and an outer select. Let's have a look at counting. In, uh, in this case, in this uh, example, I use, um, for example, a poll uh, example. I have got some votes. Um, I ask people, how is, uh, what, what is the best language you know? And Two said PHP and four said C sharp. And when we want to count something, we uh, use the the function count. And in this case, I want to count the language, and I want to count. Um, I get. I want to output this this number as a new column name, named vote count. And then I want to know what language is it. It's not surprisingly that it will be PHP, but I would like to know it anyway. And I have a table named vote. So I would like to output those counts, uh, but only for those with PHP. And in this case, it counted that I had two um, votes for PHP. What if I want to have accounting for each of the languages? Then I should, if I should use this as a template. I should have a select for each of my languages. That means I will then have a select count, blah, blah, uh, where language is C sharp. So is that uh, adequate? No, it's not. It's not effective because what if you have 100 different languages or whatever it may be, then you should have uh, 300 lines of uh, SQL and that would not be effective. So uh, we have um, an aggregation function in, uh, in SQL that is called group by. So we want to count all the languages. Now I 
just want to illustrate how is group by done. I have grouped those two languages or the votes. So now I have my PHP at the top and I have the C sharp at the bottom. So these are my two groups. So I have two in two votes for PHP and I have four for C sharp. If I want to group something, I use the group by um, command or keyword. So I will select count language as vote count as before and language I will get I will get it from vote and I will group it by language. So now I will get instead of just PHP, I will have all my languages. If I have more than one, I will just have them uh, uh, listed as well. So that was a short introduction to the aggregation functions in SQL. We have the average and the summation, the minimum, maximum, and the counting. As you show in this presentation, it might come in very handy to know something about subqueries. And if you want to use counting for more than one um, group of, um, of rows, it would be nice to know something about group by.